Hello friends! <laughs> I'll be honest, this is my second time trying to film this video today. And not because there's been lots of noise or distractions, because it's just that type of video that, you know, you film it and you've got so many different thoughts and everything running through your head that you're not sure that you ended up actually being as concise as you thought you wanted, or you were, and or as you wanted to be. But anyways, thank you for joining me today. Let's get through this hopefully better this time. Um, my video for today, and I hope you guys enjoy this, it's a little bit different for me, um, I'm going to be filming uh, my goals for 2018. Um, I'm not really like a resolution type person. Um, I kind of find sometimes those are a little like rigid um, and that, you know, sometimes you put deadlines on them for yourself or, you know, complete by dates and different things. And sometimes, you know, if you don't hit that, it just feels a little bit negative and everything. Um, and I don't know, there's just something about that word I kind of have a bit of trouble with. I have... I, I, so instead of doing resolutions, I wanted to do some goals for myself this year. And there are things that I would like to strive towards, but if I don't completely get there or whatever, I'm like, it's not like I've got like this hard, like I have to lose 10 pounds or whatever. It's nothing like that. It's just goals that I have to kind of better myself and that there's things to work towards, not that I have to have to have and then if I don't get it, I'm gonna be all down upon myself because that's not really the point, right? So anyways, I just thought I'd share them with you. One, two, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of accountability that, you know what, maybe you guys will comment on, on Instagram or on my YouTube video at some point and go, hey, how's that goal going? How are you doing with that goal that you set for yourself? You know, have a conversation with me. Let me know what your goals are and everything. Um, and then just, yeah, maybe to give you kind of some ideas that I kind of have decided that I'm wanting to just change a little bit, become the better person that I can know I can be and everything, and maybe this will just give you um, some ideas. So I do have my little notebook here, um, if you see me looking down a couple of times, but um, it's more just to kind of keep me on track. <laughs> Look how well that went since I'm on my second video, but uh, it's, 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 we're, we're going to hope that it helps. <laughs> Anyways, I just have a couple of personal goals um, for myself this year, and they kind of all are encompassing. I would like to become more healthy this year, um, and I will explain that a little bit further in a minute. Um, and I just want to be more happy with who I am. So, to start, I, you know, I have myself in the last few years, um, I have gained, you know, yes, a little bit of weight. But I'm tired of letting that feel like it has defined me. There's many different reasons that I have gained um, the weight and I don't want to use them as an excuse and they're not going to be used as an excuse anymore. I'm the first to say, well, it's really hard, you know, because I have Hashimoto's and I have some other autoimmune diseases that affect my muscles and different things. Um, it does. It makes it hard for you to work out and it does make it very hard for you to lose weight. In fact, you're, you're gaining weight with a lot of those problems. But I don't want to use that necessarily as um, an excuse anymore. But at the same token, I also want to go, okay, this is, this is who you are. This is w what it is. I don't want to care anymore that while I'm shopping and looking for clothes and, and whatever, that whether I'm a small, medium, or large, I don't want to care what my pant size is anymore. And it's not to say that I'm not going to care and that you're just going to not think about it and it's okay to not be healthy anymore because that's where the healthy piece of it comes in. It's just that I don't want to be defined by that anymore. I'm tired of feeling negative every morning when you get up and you get dressed and you go, oh, well, there's that little bit of a, a roll here on this shirt now, so, you know, you feel kind of down about yourself, or, I mean, who, do we, any of us really like to look at ourselves in the morning in the mirror, and, you know, you're naked or whatever, you're getting ready, and you're just like, ugh, you, um, most of us don't like to look at ourselves, but at the same token, I'm like, if I don't like what I look like, how am I portraying that as a great image to put out there? So, I'm going to be proud of who I am, and what I look like, and what size I am, and, it is what it is. I have these different things that, yes, do put a bit of a hinder on, you know, how much weight I can lose or what my body shape happens to be or how it looks like. But instead, 
these things have like my muscle fatigue and weakness and the fact that it's even hard for me sometimes to like hold my weight up if I was to do um, some yoga or uh, my knees are feeling terrible every morning when I wake up. I can do something to strengthen my body instead. And in turn, I think that, you know, you're gonna see some things where you know what, I know I worked really hard and even if I'm not the right pant size for where I would like to be or where I used to be many, many moons ago, that you know what, I'm proud of myself because I worked really hard and I'm doing the best I can and so I'm not going I'm trying to find a way that I can be able to exercise better and I have found a, a way and I'm going to you're gonna have to watch my vlog and I'm going to um, show you what it is that I'm going to be doing um, but I am okay that sounds really bad <laughs> Because I, I hate when kind of people do that sometimes in videos too. You're like, oh, you're going to have to watch. And it's not even like it's that big of a deal. So no, I'll just say what it is that we're going to do, what I'm doing. Um, I bought myself a Pilates reformer. Now, I didn't go out and buy one of the big, huge, like, ones that are permanently set up and they're thousands of dollars or anything like that. Because first off, I'm just starting into this. I have done mat Pilates years and years ago and it made me feel amazing and that's where I want my body to get back to. Or at least try to get back to that. Feeling strong, feeling open, feeling just just strong. Um, and so anyways, but I'm just starting out with the reformer. I've never done a reformer before so I didn't want to just go jump whole hog in and buy the big huge thousand, multi-thousand dollar things. Um, I don't have the room for it in my house either. So I just went on the shopping channel, which is the same thing as like QVC and everything that, you know, we all have them in our own countries of what they are. Um, and I bought a Pilates reformer that just basically, it, it can fold up or you can leave it out, but it's just, it's a little more lightweight, but you can still get um, a good workout from it. So for me, I used to jog many years ago or run, I don't know what you want to call it. It wasn't like I was like, amazing at it or anything. I just did it for the exercising. My knees can't take that anymore. Like I said, my muscles in my arms, um, it's painful for me some days. It's hard for me just to lift my arms up. Um, my wrists aren't strong anymore. My bones are not quite the same as they were because of different medications and stuff that I was on. And I thought with the Pilates reformer, um, that then that way it's taking the weight off of your body because you're just laying down while you're doing the exercises but there's some really really good cardio that you can get off of this by using the rebounder and there is and if you're wanting to know and kind of see more about what I'm talking about if you have no idea what I'm talking about then then at this point definitely watch my vlog um, but there's a lot of resistance and different things so I can help to build muscles I can help to increase my core which will then um, make me feel stronger and my body will be able to support itself so I'm trying wanting to find a way to make myself healthier not for pant size not for anything like that just for my body to feel stronger and so I don't wake up hopefully feeling as tired and exhausted as I do um, in the morning and with that as well um, when you have autoimmune diseases and things like that there isn't always answers out there for you. Um, the doctor, uh, the you know, the one that I deal with, he has always kind of said to me, autoimmune is that thing that most people don't even understand it. The doctors don't always fully understand them. There's different ways all the time that they, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like there's symptoms that different autoimmune um, provide to one person, but maybe it doesn't present itself that way in another person. Um, and so it's a lot of trial and error and they will try this or they will try that or they'll put you on different medications or different that. And some of those medications have different side effects and whatever. And so it's not that they aren't helpful and they're not good. And if that's what the doctor says for you to do, then that's great. And I take them and I will continue to take them. But I wanted to also find um, a bit of a healthier alternative as well of how I can help myself. Um, and through that, it's going to be through a bit of the diet. And when I say that, it's not like I'm going to diet again to necessarily lose weight. Don't get me wrong. All the exercise is and eating well. If you lose weight with it, that's an added bonus. But this is to just make myself healthier. Um, again, with some of the autoimmune immune disease for myself, um, my cholesterol is very high and my blood pressure gets very high. And it isn't even necessarily through the diet that I eat. It's just kind of a side effect. So it is very important for me to continue to lead continually eat healthy. Um, and with that being said, it's not like I'm uh, not a healthy eater, but the one thing that I put a lot, unfortunately, is my diet. And I always have kind of said, you know, um, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke. I, 
I don't anything like that. My one crutch for me, my one bad habit or one my addiction is sugar. I love chocolate. I love pastries. I love all of that. Um, yep, probably embarrassing, but I will eat sugar on a daily basis. And nope, that has not helped the weight or anything, so don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming it all on... Um, the health problems that I do have. It's just that, you know, sometimes it's that way to help you cope or you go have a bad day and you do that. Come on, I think we all do that. I've had a bad day. I want a piece of chocolate. But I want to kind of get past that mindset and I want to um, instead make those healthier options. I want to cut out the refined sugar anyway. Some natural sugars and that's fine. So I want to learn how to cook more and bake more and everything so that I can be healthier. And then in turn that will spread to my family, make them healthier, help to teach my kids and my, well, my husband already knows, but you know, help teach my kids some healthier habits and uh, you know, that kind of thing. So I've done some research myself and you know, a lot of um, with autoimmune, um, refined sugar is one of those things that is really bad for people or for people. Yeah, for people. <laughs> refined sugar, um, is one of those things that is really bad for you and not healthy. And, um, you know, I'm going to make some good choices. Um, some other things I've read about, I don't really want to say too, too much about what it is because I know everybody has different opinions and different things. And I think it all depends on what you speak with your doctor about and what research you do and what identifies with you, what you identify with and go, you know what, you're right. I think that could make a difference for me. So everybody can do their own thing, but this is what I'm going to do is kind of try to um, grains and everything and I know like that whole cutting out gluten thing it's like this people kind of started to view it as that it's this like fat and whatever and you know what I think if you have celiac and all those things I feel terrible for you because it must be so hard to struggle um, with always having to read labels and figure out what's in it because it's so surprising on how much how many things have that in it and everything. So um, I can only imagine what that must be like. But I do know from what I've read that people with Hashimoto's and everything, um, grains and all of that kind of thing, eliminating some of that does help to um, make you feel a little, little less fatigued and everything. So I'm going to try to cut out some of that, cut out the refined sugar, and I'm going to make a um, goal to exercise, I would like to say five times a week, so I'm gonna say three to five times a week, and if I do more than that even, great, and if I do less, I'm not gonna get down on myself. So I just want to remain positive about it. I've set it as a goal instead of something that I have to do, because when you kind of sometimes do that and you don't, then you, like I said, you just get down on yourself. I don't wanna to say to myself, oh, well, crumb, I only worked out two times this week, so why bother? That's not it. I wanna be proud of the fact that I still managed to do two times that week, but next week, go, oh, you know what, let's try to do a little bit better. Let's try to get in three, four times and whatever. So those are my goals for my health. I'm really curious to see what some of your goals are. I know I think we all try to um, be healthy and we strive for it. And I want to kind of hear what you have found works for you. I know a lot of people, it's, you know, drinking eight glasses of water a day or walking up and down the stairs at work as opposed to taking the elevator or that kind of thing. So I want to kind of hear what yours are. Give me some more ideas of how maybe I can um, become healthier and become a stronger um become a stronger person. It's one of those things and I think this is why I'm filming the video for a second time. It's hard to explain what you mean without sounding like, oh wow, you must have been a really unhealthy person before. And that's not it at all. I'm relatively healthy. I do try hard. I do try to walk a lot of places and all of those things. It's just for myself, those aren't what working isn't what's working. So this is what I would like to do. Um, so yeah, and, and, and with that, I want to explore, you know, being, yes, being healthy and being happy with myself. And then that might give um, me a bit more confidence in, um, my style. And I want to explore my style a little bit more this year. Um, I'm the type of person, I love style. Um, I don't necessarily always jump on the trend initially. Sometimes I have to warm up to the trend a little bit more, see it for a while, see different ways of doing it and see how I can maybe incorporate it into my style. Um, um, but I do love fashion and I love to dress up and I love to always put my best face forward with, you know, maybe do my makeup or hair. Um, and I like to dress, but I find that sometimes like, I, I don't know, people sometimes judge you and I'm just kind of done with caring about that piece of it that, you know, some people feel completely great about wearing whatever they want to wear to the grocery store. But if I want to wear my faux fur pink coat, 
grocery shopping that that's what I'm going to do and I want to just because that's an expression of me so I want to explore that more. I have some a bit of a quirky side sometime to how I like to dress and to my personality and I want to express that more this year. So I know a lot of us always say that um, you know you do you to other people and say you know what don't worry about what other people think. You do you, do what you want to do, if that's what makes you happy go for it. And it's really easy for us to tell that to somebody else. Um, and you know, you're trying to make them feel better and everything, but it, it's another thing to kind of practice that yourself. Um, so while I'm trying to get healthy and while I'm trying to be happier with myself, I'm not going to really care, not care, but I'm not going to worry myself over whether I'm, when I'm going out, whether I'm dressed too fancy for whatever that occasion is. If that's how I want to dress and that reflects my personality, that's what I want. So I want to explore a bit more of that quirky side of my, um, fashion this year, um, you know, with a few more statement pieces, be it through bags or coats or whatever else. And I want to share that with you as well. I'm hoping that um, it might interest you and everything. So that's what I'm looking to do. And that kind of takes me into where my next big goal for this year is. Um, it's for YouTube and from Instagram and just kind of for the social media. Um, I got into YouTube um, a few years ago, uh, mainly because my oldest daughter, who is now nine, but before she started school, um, and it was just her, I hadn't had my second daughter yet, um, her and I sometimes, you know, we started off the day, we would cuddle and stuff when we first woke up, and we would watch YouTube. And we just watched some of the different beauty gurus and fashion gurus and all of that, and we would watch them. And I, just because it was something I was interested in, and she kind of got into it a little bit too, she She's, she's different now. She's a bit more of a tomboy. She's not quite as girly girl as I am, and that's completely fine. But um, at the time, she liked to be a little bit more girly girl, and she really enjoyed watching them with me. And um, she had said to me, Mom, why aren't you doing these? Like She's like, you're really into you know, fashion, clothing, and you really like makeup and all of those things. She's like, why are you not doing these? And I kind of said to her at the time, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I could do that, huh? And I said, that's not just me. And she's like, but why, Mom? You could. And I kind of thought at the time, I'm like, wow, for, it's that little kid perception, you know, where at that, when they're little, they haven't got where they're bigger yet and they start getting nervous to do things. They are all about doing new things and trying things and like, well, what do you mean you can't do it? I'm just going to go do it, you know? And I love that. Whereas adults, we start to, you know, question everything and we get shy and we get embarrassed and all those things easy. And I thought, you know what? You're right. Why, why couldn't I do that? Um, and she's like, I think you'd be good at it. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I could be good at it. Um, maybe I'm not the best, but I, I'm not, I'm not terrible either, you know? And I thought, you know what? Why don't I take this adventure, this journey on? And she watches me and she gets really into it. She's like, oh, mom, are you, are you filming a video today? And everything. And, um, show her that, you know what? If you do set your mind to something and if you have a passion for something, then she, it's good to share it and that I, if you set your mind to something, you can accomplish it. So for me, with that being said too, I would like to grow my YouTube channel more and everything. I want to develop these relationships like on my about me page kind of type thing or whatever it's called on my YouTube channel page. I even say that I want this to be a community where we share ideas and we share things we've learned. We've shared tips and tricks and I want us to be friends and I want to be able to develop that and develop the communications with you and you know have conversations and things with you and for to be able to do that though I you know yes I need to continue to grow my YouTube channel more so I can find more of you that are like-minded like me and like the same types of things but I also need to be consistent it's really hard to develop those relationships with you and have those conversations with you if I'm only posting a video every once a month or sometimes it's been longer than that in between each video so I really want to get more consistent with my videos so I can get to know you better you guys can get to know me um, and you know just share I you know I that's what's the most important to me is sharing and friendship um, so I'm going to be more consistent with my um, videos this year. And I'm just gonna continue to try to do videos that make me happy. I know sometimes I can um, talk a lot, but I really like to be able to give people as much information as possible. So I kind of figured, you know what, there's a fast forward button. Um, if you don't like what I'm particularly talking about at this exact second, then just fast forward until you find the part or the information that you're looking for. I'm not gonna be offended by that or anything. I, I understand, I know I can talk a lot, but 
that's the type of video I would like to make. I want to, I don't want to have somebody watch the video and go, oh darn, I feel like I they didn't Ah, oh, there was that one question I really wanted to know about and she didn't touch upon it. I realize I can't answer every question and what I think is important might not be what you think is important, but I want to be able to make sure that I've done my best. I want to make my best video that's as informative or sharing as possible um, and everything. And then um, I want to make videos that you guys want to see. So I would like you guys to let me know what kind of videos you're wanting to see. What videos I did maybe last year that you did like and you'd like to see more of that kind. Or if there's something I haven't done that you would like to see, um, to see or you'd like me to try, be it, I don't know, vlogging or um, something more with style or I, I don't know. Just let me know what you'd like to do. I have some ideas of some upcoming videos and I'm really looking forward to getting into this this year and really continuing with it and being consistent. Um, so, you know, I but I'd like to know what um, what feedback you have. So I think that's probably it for today. I know I've probably talked a lot and I'm hoping that I made as much sense as possible. Um, like I said, I think this video was to help you guys um, maybe have some ideas on what you can do kind of for yourself this year. It's not selfish to do things for yourself, so to set some goals for you know, you personally, that's, it is a good thing. And I think when you do that, it reflects in your whole life and for your family and friends and everything. They see, they reap the rewards of what you've done for yourself too. So, um, but at the same token, it's probably for myself. You know, you get a lot of these thoughts in your head and trying to sometimes express them. It's just nice to be able to talk to you and express them to you and see if it made sense. Or if you have some other suggestions of things that I can do to kind of help improve upon those things that I've mentioned that I want to have as goals this year, then definitely let me know. I'd love to hear what your goals for this year are as well, what you're working on. I may have just said that, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, yes, definitely let me know what your goals are for this year, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It does mean a lot. Um, it knows that, you know, I know that you enjoyed it. I will consider then doing one again next year. Um, and if you are new to this channel, thank you so, so much for joining. If you would consider subscribing, that would mean a lot to me so that, I, you know, then I can get to know you a bit more. Leave a comment leave a comment for me. Let me know you're a new subscriber. Just say hi. We'll chit chat. And for everybody that um, is already a current subscriber, thank you again so, so much for all of your support, all of your comments. Um, it really means the world to me. I've been enjoying getting to know you guys since I've started my YouTube channel and I'm really looking forward to continuing growing with you this year. So I'll talk to you later, friends. I hope you're all having a great day. Bye.